Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt Deville with Cut and Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Barry Hearn. Barry Hearn states that Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 in serious doubt, says the former chief. Matchroom's chairman Barry Hearn reveals that the trilogy bout between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder might not happen. Citing financial reasons, Hearn said that that promoters could lose millions if they go ahead with the bout. And given the current crisis, it is something they can't afford. The heavyweight Titans, of course, fought in 2018, which resulted in a draw, as we all know. The rematch, however, was a completely different story. Fury dominated Wilder, okay, from every fir from the first round to the end the, to the seventh round. Tyson Fury re revealed he has signed a two-fight contract deal against Anthony Joshua for early next year. Now, that contract between Joshua and Fury is signed. It, it might not be financially viable for promoters to host the trilogy bout. Okay, wow. He said they've lost... Barry, Barry Hearn said this directly. He said they've lost a fortune promoting Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in the past. I can't see Tyson Fury fighting Deontay Wilder. The reason being, this is all pre-COVID. Don't forget, they've lost a fortune promoting Fury and Deontay Wilder in the past. They've now given them a new deal where they got to fight again. The, that was based on values of 12 months ago when in boxing there was a lot of money out there and everyone was going crazy and spending big. I don't think the people involved can actually afford to do a Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder on their original terms that were <clears throat> set out in today's world, said Barry. Okay. Another risk is the promoter's face is in case Fury loses, it could result in loss of hundreds and millions as Joshua fight will get canceled. Promoters are get, are better off going for the unification bout instead. What are your thoughts on Hearn's comments? Wow. What are your thoughts on Hearn's comments? Well, my counterpunch on that, it, it makes some sense. I think it's a little biased in there, but that's what I first thought when I heard, okay, Barry Hearn from Matchroom, chairman of Matchroom, talking about a promotion, you know, that he's not involved with. And not only a promotion he's not involved with, it's the rival promotional company. So, of course, he would think that. But would that be a fear or would that be something that he desires? Now, that's what I was thinking. First thing came to mind as I'm reading this. This is what I'm going through my head. However, the man knows boxing. And the spark is Joshua's Fury. Fury Joshua. That two-fight deal between those two. And if you notice, guys, if you notice how the trilogy fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, if you notice how it has gradually moved from date to date to date, it's moved three times, okay? It went from Ju July 18th, I think it was, July 18th, to um, then it was going to be in September. Then in September moved to October third. Now it was then it moved to what November. Now it's in Christmas Day. Look, you know God, you know what day Christmas is. Christmas is like the twenty fifth of December. Okay, um, that's six days from New Year's. Whoever has to turn right back around and fight White, if that happens, which that's up in the air, but I doubt. But still, you're looking at a fight between these two guys and the day in today's world. OK, people have lost millions of dollars anyway due to this pandemic we're in. That's understandable that people are suffering those costs across the board. But they're not going to pretend they didn't suffer the cost. Okay. People stay in business for certain ways. People file bankruptcy for certain reasons. They want to keep the money. They want to do the smartest thing when the thing to do to get out is to get out. So in boxing, you don't promote it. You drop the card. You drop the, the ex expenses because you've suffered so much of a loss in the past. That's business. 
you know, you suffer your losses, you cut your losses, and you get the hell out of Dodge. So what Barry's saying is might, you know, might be some truth to that because of how this fight has moved. Now, I understand the July date, but anything from the July date, then, then of course, Wilder had a, had a, um, a surgery. So you got to throw that in there. He had that surgery, so he's going to have to wait, you know, to, 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 to recoup for it to properly heal or his properly heal his bicep, his right bicep. Then he goes back into the train, into training. Does he have enough time to train properly? But then now we've seen this deal between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury, think about it. If they've already signed a fight to fight and Tyson Fury's already made it known that he could drop the WBC belt, well, what do you think? What do you think could happen with that fight? Do you think Joshua would want to fight and fight Tyson Fury after already signing for the fight? Okay. See, that's the money fight. Again, people, we follow the money in boxing. That's how it works. So if there's no money in, in Tyson Fury and, and Deontay Wilder, where is it really going to come from? You know, because people are going to look at what that that cost them to put that show on them. Those these networks, they're going to look at, well, how much did it cost us versus we had to pay them? You know, we didn't really get our return. Right. So they're going to look that they're going to take that in consideration. Now, again, it could just be clever hating by Barry uh, Hearn. But, you know, there is some truth to it. But again, that doesn't change the fact of worry. Or, or, or prediction versus desire for someone to fail or another promotional thing to fail. But the fight that everybody wants to see is Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. And the more that fight is promoted before that fight happens, the less significant that the Wilder uh, Fury or Fury Wilder 3 will be. Okay? So that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Barry Hearn's comments. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.